first game. Oh, yeah, it's always chill. You've got to check the view on that film. I think it's kicked way enough. I thought it was pretty good, obviously, um, other than the ISO with the reverse. I thought for the most part we played pretty well against the run. When you look at their yards uh, per rush for a running back, now we didn't do a very good job containing the quarterback uh, from our rush lanes in the passing game. He got loose on us a couple times. Uh, but there was things we need to improve on, but I was fairly fairly happy with that. Anything in particular? Yeah, you know, feel like uh, you know, we have so we, we, we all know, you know, we got to stop that kind of uh, No, we just got to play with good eyes every week. Um, you know, people, we're, we're a speed-oriented defense, and, and we chase the ball well, and we, we run reverses and practice every week and fake reverses. So that's just the nature of the way our defense is. We don't stand around and hold bags. Uh, we're defense is going to run sideline to sideline. And so, you know, people uh, always try to throw a misdirection or two in here. And, and we practice it, and our guys just have to have good eyes. And you got to give UNLV credit. They had a nice play there. Well, I, you know, he's uh, obviously one of the best backs in the country. Um, he's been very uh, prolific over his career. I think that uh, the best thing he does is he follows his blockers. He's a very patient runner. Uh, he reads defenses really well and, and knows where his linemen are going to be and works off of them really well. Yeah, a little bit. Well, he's played really well for them over the last couple of years. Uh, yeah, they just threw it up to him, and he made a lot of catches, and, and he did a lot of things intermediate route-wise, too. I, I think he runs really crisp routes. Uh, he's a very, very good, very physical blocker. I think he's really got a good, complete game for a wide receiver. Yeah, I thought he was. He had um, good games last year. He played well against us in the championship game, and uh, he's uh, he runs their offense. They give a lot of it to him, and um, you know I'm really impressed with what I've seen from him, just like I was last year. <laughs> You know, it was nice to get a lot of guys out there and get them work. Uh, I would say Jay Tufele was real impressive up front. Um, Kanai did some good things for us. Levi Jones did some nice things. Uh, at the safety position, um, you know, Talano, we got in, hit him in there a little bit late. He did some decent things. And I thought the, uh, the uh, Isaiah Langley and Greg Johnson kind of split reps at the corner and um, was productive for us because they played about the same amount of snaps. And I thought OG did a nice job playing the, the limited plays he played on the right-hand side. No, he's a very talented player. He's very instinctive. And, um, you know, he had a lot of hype coming out um, being recruited. And you can see his play warranted that when you see the plays that he makes. So uh, having him back out here and his availability, I don't know, but having him back out here is, is uh, good for us. Well, I think the nature of this conference, a lot of people throw the ball up, uh, a lot of deep balls in general. So it's something we've worked on in spring ball and in fall camp. And, and uh, they, they do push the ball down the field. They did last week. They did against us last year. And that's just part of what they do. But they run a lot of other route combinations that are, that are really tough to defend. Uh, is that an area, particularly these tracks and deep balls, is that an area that you feel like your corner is like they've run in that way? Yeah, I really, I really think so. I think it's been a, a point of emphasis for us. And um, the work that they've put in during practice, uh, we've thrown a lot of balls after practice. Um, they, they've caught a lot of balls and, and cracked a lot of balls. And so hopefully you guys will see it pay off this year. Yeah, is it something that you know, for yourself you kind of do you not know yet until you get into a game situation how they perform in that way? Well, I, I see them playing at practice well. and. Uh, for the most part in the game, because you know, be the, the deep ball we, we defended when it was thrown up. So we just got to continue to keep working on it. It's something that everybody's going to do every single week to us, just because of the nature of what offenses do in this league. Tight end is always an emphasis at Stanford. What do you think about their group? Well, it's a very uh, well-rounded group. Uh, you know, they're they're all really good point of attack blockers, um, and they're all very good route runners. So um, it's it's just a typical group of Stanford tight ends that do a lot of different things and and they complement each other well. When you were here your first time in 2013, you guys played Stanford, I think it was November, late in the season. 
in the last couple of years and playing them in September. What's the biggest difference between playing them kind of this point of the calendar versus November? Um, you know, I would say it, it just depends on, uh, you know, every year is a little bit different. They're, they have different players. We have different players. I really don't see a big difference. We're really looking at the guys who played last year and who played in their first game. I don't really see a big difference between what they did in uh, 10, 11, 12, or 13. Um, but uh, it's very similar offensively. And they, they have different pieces. Um, they have different running backs. They have different tight ends. They have different linemen. So they're featuring different people. I guess is it tougher to face them early or later, or does it? Well, it's never matter? easy. Um, they're always a challenge. They they present uh, a lot of issues, is because they're multiple personnel groups and the, and the different matchups that they try to create. So it's always a challenge whenever it is that you have an opportunity to play them. Obviously, you guys have to prepare for Bryce, Bryce Love, but uh, what are you guys doing to prepare for Cameron Scarlett? Well, um, he's had a very productive career. Um, he, he comes in the ball game in a lot of different situations for them, short yardage, uh, first and second down, and he'll catch the ball out of the backfield. So uh, he's a guy that uh, can, can you know, run the ball in between the tackles and stretch the perimeter. So um, I, don't, you know, I, I think he's a very productive back. And what about KJ Costello? What have you seen from him proving from last year to this year? Yeah, I thought he played well last year. And, and um, the championship game, I thought he played really well. And he had a lot of good games leading up into that. I think he's very confident in what he's doing. He knows that offense very well and, and knows how to use the playmakers within that offense. Good. Just talk the big hits. Inside, how, uh, how do you kind of keep his emotions in check? He gets you know, excited for that kind of marking to show that on national. Yeah, I mean, you have to ask him. I mean, Iman's a consummate pro. We've, we've never had any issues with him uh, getting too excited. I think he's, he's a competitor and he'll be ready to go on Saturday. He's up for the challenge for sure.